In this tutorial, we will teach you how to add entity level events and how to add behavior graphs. So, if we start off by using the select tool to click on the baseball, then within the entity editor, we will choose events. Now, the events listed here are system events, so these events cannot be removed by the user. However, what we can do is we can add new events. So if we want something in addition to simple things like mouse over, mouse leave and on mouse press, then we can add a new event by using the add event button. We can rename the event. In this case we're going to use on throw. So basically if the ball is thrown we will trigger this event and the behavior associated to that event can run. At the same time, we're also going to add another event called on hit. So whenever the ball is hit, we can also run a behavior associated to that event. Okay, so now that we've added the events, we can now look at the behavior graph to see how these events can be used. So within the entity editor, if we click on graphs, currently the baseball has no graphs. So there are two ways we can add a behavior graph. We can use the add behavior graph icon at the bottom of the entity editor here or we can double click on the actual 3D object itself and create a behavior graph that way. So for, the, for, for now I'm going to double click on the baseball. We'll keep the normal name graph, the default name, uh, name for the graph. And now when we look at the baseball this is the, a reference to the baseball and this is within the graph that we have just created. So this is the main graph and this is the graph we've just created. We can then right click, show all pins and confirm that on hit and on throw, which are the two user events that we have just added, are present within the reference for the baseball. Now whenever these events are triggered, this output pin here will also be triggered so anything related anything connected to this uh, pin will be run so in this video we have shown you how to add new entity level events and also how to add a behavior graph and expose these events within the graph itself